Information Minister Kojo Pongkrumah has thrown his weight behind the Ghana Journalists Association to use media blackouts against politicians who attack journalists in line of duty. Kojo Pongkrumah also urged the GJA to increase pressure on the Ghana Police Service and the judiciary to effectively address cases of attacks on journalists in the country. His comment comes after the latest cases of assault on two journalists that have forced the GJA to issue media blackout on two politicians believed to have facilitated the attack. Kojo Pongkrumah says the Ghana Police Service and the judiciary hold the key to resolving these cases. Chairman of the National Media Commission, Yao Buidwaya for has meanwhile mounted a spirited defense insisting the position taken by the GJ8 to blacklist the two political actors is dysfunctional and unproductive. Speaking to joiners, a former president of the Ghana G Journalists Association said using legal means to seek redress is the way to go rather than such harsh stance. And thank you to my opinion. My only difficulty is where somebody considers his or her opinion superior to other person's opinion. Because then the question is it has nothing to do with the national media commission. It's my personal views and anybody who is fair minded should get a copy of my speech and read and and tell me whether I spoke for myself or I was speaking in the name of the of the Ghanaian Association. Yes. But the fact that I am a senior journalist, I say admitted, is the fact that I should have an independent opinion. I don't need necessarily to follow whatever position that the UJ comes up with. And if I do not agree with the position of the UJ, it does not render me a mole. It does not render me a, 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 a user to the system because I'm not supposed to mimic anybody. I mean, people, when they speak, they speak that they have the right to express themselves. But if somebody expresses a, a view that they don't share, then somebody is stupid. 
Canada debates is democracy. You know, because, because, listen, I do not think that when you call Superman and he spoke to you, he, he spoke for media transition for West Africa. He expressed his personal views about them. So when I express a personal view about a certain matter, why should that be construed as an unfortunate statement coming from the National Media Commission? Well, Black system might not be in the best interest of the public. Why? Because the people that will be blacklisting may be holding sensitive public information that the public requires to know. And because we are blacklisting them, the public will be denied access to that information. And so we become a clock in the wheel of the right to information. And that was why I gave the example of what is happening in Palestine in, between Israel and Hamas. The number of journalists who have died in, in that distance are more than it has ever happened before. But there's no media house that has said that Israel or Hamas should be blacklisted. And that is my position, that it may not endure to the benefit of the public if we begin to use blacklisting as, as the commonest tool available to us, rather than insisting, insisting that the due process of the law I've been joined by Franklin Kujo. He is the president of Imani Center for Policy and Education. Grateful for your time, sir. You've been worried about the number of uh, attacks on journalists, the cases uh, that have been reported to the police, which have not seen any closure over the period. Now the GJA is adapting new measures, blacklisting politicians who perpetrate these acts. Way to go. Well, without a doubt. Initially, I was ambivalent um, as to the approach the GJA has adopted. But given the fact that clearly the cases that have been reported to the police have taken forever, I think it is not in their, in their space to be visiting the offices or the programs of persons who uh, are seen or have the uh, proclivity to beat, beat up generally. I think that's a natural first order of defense anyway. I mean, I wouldn't attend your program. Unless, of course, you come out and you must can be remorseful, and if it is proven that you, the political actor, are not responsible, then you must be able to at least uh, aid the process of uh, punishing those persons who do these things in your face. But anything that falls short of uh, remorse, or willing, willing, willingness to ensure that the perpetrators are brought to book, I think our side is a GTA. I mean, those black is uh, another 20 year event. In any case, for that to be effective, it would mean that all other journalists or media houses must do safe. And, of course, uh, that is where the problem is. Uh, it's going to be kind of difficult getting all media houses to join, knowing also how divided sometimes we've been. And, that, and probably that's the reason why the NMC chairman is saying this could be dysfunctional. Well, without a doubt, I mean, unless the GJ has, has not got all its members in unity, and I can understand that in a plural democracy, there will be those persons who may not do the particular line of uh, the GJ. But at least for the media houses that are involved, if they value the life of their media personnel, they have liberty to actually withdraw their services as far as those persons are concerned. And I think it will be a warning to those who continuously. Hello? I'm uh, Franklin Kujo, is the president of Imani Center for Policy and Education. We'll see how this unfolds. Definitely, there must be a way out to stop journalists from being attacked by politicians. Let me